In a country where gold mining often comes at the cost of the environment, a Zambian company has unveiled what it calls a game changer. Silwamba M African Engineering Limited has developed a Giga Gold Separator, a machine that uses only water to extract gold. Company Chief Executive Officer Martin Silwamba says the innovation is the first of its kind in Zambia and designed to protect the environment and promote efficiency. It is an environmentally friendly machine and we are the first Zambian indigenous company to actually manufacture this machine and say here was actually manufactured right here in Zambia. We are empowering and employing local people and this machine is able to be taken to any site as it is mobile. Unlike traditional methods that rely on chemicals, company general manager Jeremiah Boloma says the Giga God separator ensures farming land and rivers are not polluted. Compared to what is currently on the market, you know, um, they are using chemicals which are not only harmful to the environment, but as well uh, are harmful to the health of the people that are operating the machines. You know, I've got machines that are using cyanide and machines that are using as well the acid, the, uh, the, the acid process and as well as uh, that are using mercury. The company is now appealing to the Ministry of Mines to help roll out the technology to small-scale miners across the country. Mr. Mboloma believes the machine could boost gold production while setting Zambia on a path to sustainable mining. You know, um, we're looking at uh, partnerships with the, with the Ministry of Mines. You know, we are providing technology that has not yet, you know, been seen in Africa. We are the first, you know, to provide uh, the separation of jig here in Zambia. This is a Zambian manufactured machine. Everything is being done here local. If adopted widely, the Giga Gold Separator could rewrite a new chapter for Zambia's mining industry, one where progress goes hand in hand with protecting the environment. Mark Ziligone, ZNBC News, Lusaka.